The Skagit River system is home to many different aquatic organisms. It houses waterfowl, aquatic mammals and plants, macroinvertebrates and so forth, but it is best known for its glush salmon populations. The Skagit is home to Chinook, Chum, Coho, Sockeye, Pink, and the anadromous steelhead trout. Unfortunately, the Chinook salmon population has been experiencing a sharp drop in their return numbers. To combat this issue, the Skagit Fisheries Enhancement Group has devised a plan to create new channels for the salmon. The new channel will be roughly one mile long. It will provide additional space for spawning and rearing. Unfortunately, during this process, many maple trees will need to be cut down. Maple trees are a vital part of their environment. They provide food, shade, and shelter for many micro and megafauna and flora. The foliage itself is home to fungi, rodents, reptiles, and many insects. Maple trees are also important in maintaining salmon populations. They attract bugs, prevent erosion, and supply oxygen into streams. Salmon require streams that are cool, clear, clean, connected, and complex. Surrounding trees create waters that are cool, clear, and clean. After the channel is created, new maple trees will be planted around it. Before the tree removal started, the Glacier Peak Institute volunteered to collect maple seeds in the surrounding area. Volunteers dug through thick foliage to find small, sprouting seeds like the ones shown above. Collecting the seeds preserves the genetic history of the maple trees in the area. Thank you for watching my video. I hope to see you at an upcoming GPI volunteer event. Thank you!